Hey guys, it's a late Hook'em Horns Texas UCLA video here. It's going to be real quick, but uh, you just got to enjoy this one. Um, you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about how our run defense wasn't that great against UCLA. Well, they run the ball 40-some times, I think 34 times, and they get 141 yards on us. They're not going to win the game by dropping 141 yards on us in the running game. We pick them off three times in the first quarter. So we've already got ourselves a huge lead before their running game can even have time to wear us down and take a toll on us. They only complete 11 passes. You're not going to win a game against Texas this year by completing 11 passes. Uh, our defense is too good for that. We've got a you know, different attitude. Our, 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 our just overall mindset is too good for that. And with Case McCord at the helm, our offense is a little too good. But then you just run, 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 and wear us down because our defense is on the field the entire game. So, um, Case McCoy. Wow. Three incompletions this game. Three. We haven't seen something like that since Cole. And I know it's only been two years since Cole was here. It just feels like a lot longer than that. Uh, Texas fans, you know. You know it feels like a long time. Um, I know UCLA is, is nope, but this is a nobody who killed us last year. They were a nobody last year by the season's end, too. So this is obviously, we've come a long way in the year. Um, what else can we say about these Texas Longhorns? Um, just offensively, you see how much better and crisper we are when Gary Gilbert's not in there. You know... As a player, I, it can take a toll. You know, they're, they really wanted Gilbert to play Texas. You know, they saw him playing the championship game, and there was all this question, of, oh, well, they got this big high school recruit, but here comes Case McCoy, who's going to be the next quarterback at Texas, even before he played in the championship game. And we all just assumed it was going to be Case McCoy because he was Colton McCoy's brother. They wanted another McCoy right away. Who knows? If Case had started last year, we might have still gone 10 games, and it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But... They really wanted Gilbert to play because of the championship game, and they thought they owed it to him. And again, this year, they wanted him to play because he had the experience of last year. And when you have one bad season at Texas, all the fans just want to you know, throw away the team, throw them away, start over. Um, and they didn't want to do that. They wanted to give Gilbert another shot, another chance, and say, you know, hey, everybody had some room to improve from last year. Let's see what happens. But Gilbert doesn't look like he's improved at all since that same guy played against Alabama. We played against Alabama today, even though their defense isn't half as good now as it was then. He'd still throw four interceptions and fumble the ball. Um, and that was excusable as a freshman who hadn't played at all. But not now as a junior who has a full season of experience under his belt and is a junior. And he sat behind the best quarterback in school history, and this is the best he can come up with. Um, so not impressed. Really what it all comes down to is this one play. Third and 18 after Marquise Goodwin would got the penalty for blocking and leading with the set. I thought that was a terrible call personally, but it's aside from the point. Third and 18. McCoy takes a snap. Our much improved offensive line still, um, you know, it stood up actually really well today and last week, but it just, it broke down this play. And um, I'm sure you all remember it. You know, the second half was winding down, and 3rd and 18, just, <laughs> McCoy has the pocket collapsed on him, he runs left, there's a guy there, so he runs back right, nothing doing, he steps up in the pocket, decides he's going to take off running right anyway, jukes the defender, UCLA's defensive line pushes an O-lineman from Texas into McCoy. Hits McCoy, McCoy gets knocked off balance even more, somehow stays on his feet, scrambling for his life, chucks the pass on the run, complete to Goodwin, or excuse me, uh, Davis for a first down. Gilbert would have gone down after the first guy, and I understand some guys just aren't as elusive as others. Gilbert's not elusive at all. He's got good straight line speed, but, you know, he's not elusive. He's no cold, certainly not Vince. Um, but this is just desire. This is want to win, searching. Finding a way to win and to do it. That's what this was. Um, nothing more, nothing less. That's why I don't see from Gilbert. It's just that desire to win. 
that's you know they were talking about that before the game. Neither McCoy, you know, neither Cole or Case did anything fantastic. You know, you know, the knock against Cole McCoy is that you know he really never showed his his arm as far as throwing deep. We all know he could throw the ball literally. He could throw the ball 56 miles per hour. Um, you know, that's second, as far as I know, to Brett Favre, who could throw the ball 60 miles an hour. Um, so McCoy could really rocket the ball, but, you know, the thing was, they were always complaining about how he didn't throw the ball downfield. They always all three, four, five-yard passes. Okay, you know, I can do that. I can live with that. I can live with a three-yard pass and a four-yard pass. Um, you know, Texas made a living off that two straight seasons, and few people could stop their offense in those two years. In fact, if you put it all together, you kind of have Oklahoma in 2009, who really made it hard for Texas, and then Nebraska the same year in the Big 12 championship game. That's it. Those are the only two teams in two years who slowed down our offense. Um, but, you know, so he didn't do anything spectacular. Gilbert, you know, he could throw the ball a mile. But these McCoys, they know how to win. They won in high school, and they have the desire to win. And they just want it so bad. Gilbert looks like he's either way. You know, he's in college. Well, I'm here to get my degree. I just chuck a football around. So doesn't look like he really wants to win. These guys look like they want to win. They'll do anything within the realms of the game to do it. Um, within the rules of the game, I suppose. Um, and that's why Texas won. Our defense was phenomenal. Again, UCLA is a nobody. But they were a nobody last year to beat the heck out of us. So, we need to just savor this as a Longhorns fan. Don't say, well, it was nobody. Don't say, well, we gave up 130 rushing yards. You know, cause that's awful. Even though we controlled the clock and the ground rushing for over 250 yards, 284 to be exact. Um... Just enjoy it, you know. We've got a bye week, one more, just another week for McCoy and Ash to sort of mesh some with the offense, for the running game to keep improving and all that, you know, just for the team to get closer and closer and just move forward brick by brick, you know, the Texas slogan this year, motto, if you will, and, uh, you know, it's going to be going to be an exciting year. Uh, you know, I don't think we're going to win the Big 12. The tough conference this year with Oklahoma, OK State, Texas A&M, Baylor. We got them last game of the year. But, you know, just enjoy it. I, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed not worrying about third downs. You know, seeing a third down come up and I go, oh, no, 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 no. What are we going to do? This is only our third play of the drive. The defense is going to be back out there. They're going to be tired. They're going to be worn out. Um, you know, and just saying, you know what, we're probably going to get this. I haven't been able to say that for a while. Um, and I enjoy it and just need to keep on enjoying it all of us because just don't worry about Oklahoma. We're not in that league yet. We will be, I think next year, we'll be in that Oklahoma type league because we've got a lot of young guys who are going to be very experienced by next year. And uh, a lot of guys know how to win. Chip Lee is a guy who knows how to win. He comes from a family who wins and knows how to. Um, a lot of young guys, we're going to be good for the next couple of years. Just enjoy it. It's the building process. So, I mean, we could have been a lot better, I guess, if we had foresaw this or foreseen this Gilbert thing happening last year and just played McCoy midway through the season. But, you know, we didn't. So, we just got to look for now. Can't uh, can't redo, can't undo what happened then. So just move forward, enjoy it, hook 'em horns. We're gonna beat Iowa State this time, and it's gonna be some fun. It's gonna be a fun year. I just enjoy hearing McCoy and Chipley's names called in the same sentence again. Hook 'em horns. Getting off week. Enjoy it.